Hey guys, welcome back to the Grill Shack and if you are new, come on in. Now today we're going to do a video about seasoning one of these. Now I haven't been foolish enough to try and start this video outside at the Grill Shack because that is very heavy. What we're going to do today is attempt to season it, which I've not done before, so I'll show you step by step as I go through. But the first thing we're going to need is some fire. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is give it a little bit of a clean because it's been in packaging and whatever else has been in there. Um, there's one side that looks like a brushed finish, there's one side that looks like a bit more matte finish and by my research, the brushed finish is the size that you want to use. So that's the side I'm going to give a quick wipe to now, we'll let it dry and then we'll put some oil on. That's your plancher, nice and clean. So the next thing you need to do is add a little oil and a little being the operative word here, you don't want to put too much on, so basically you need to just kind of lightly coat it, not so there's like a massive surplus. You'll notice there's too much on there when you put it on the grill because it'll go up in smoke. Um, so just enough, maybe like a teaspoon, um, or guess what that might be. And you pour it up here, and I've come with rapes at all because that's got a high um, heat benefit as far as cooking. Um, so I've assumed that would be good to use. Now, if anything, I probably put a little bit too much on there because I've had to kind of rub it around a little bit to clear off the excess, so really don't go too heavy. I'm just going to leave that to sit for a little while while the grill heats up, then we're going to plonk that on and get the first bit of heat into my steel. Okay, so these coals have got a lovely glow on them now, so what I'm going to do is just take them off and I am going to just throw them in for a second. There we go. I'll just pop that down there on my stone. And I've got my rake. <coughs> There's some old charcoal on the bottom of here, you should never really waste charcoal. So I've left that in the bottom. I'm just going to stir this up for a second and kind of hope that some of the rest of it ignites a bit. So once that's at a temperature where it feels like the coals are kind of all lit, uh, I'm going to get the plancher, pop it on. In theory, it shouldn't take too long for that first layer of oil to basically evaporate, and so it kind of Something obviously goes in there if it burns off, um, and it will start to look like there's nothing on it, uh, like dry. Um, so then you put a little bit more on, a little bit more on, you should start to see the colour of the metal change from a silver to sort of brown into like a dark browny black colour. That's the plan anyway, we'll see if that pays off. So the seasoning process is now underway. It might take a little while, I'm not entirely sure. From some of the research that I did, it did kind of suggest of how quickly you get your coals up to heat, how much oil you put on, how thick the steel is, and that's pretty thick. I think it weighs about 10 kilos, so it might take a while to get up to heat. Once the sheen disappears off it from the oil that I put on, I've got some more, uh, and I've got the tongs. I'll get a little bit of kitchen paper and then I'll just kind of put a little bit more on as evenly as I can just to kind of keep doing that until the colour starts to change um, but you'll be here throughout so I'll keep you posted Shall we begin? Let's begin now A little bit of colour on there now as you can see so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it slightly because the colour doesn't look particularly even and I don't think that's necessarily uncommon. Your heat's not necessarily always going to be even based on how your coals are laying. So I'm going to turn it slightly and then just using this and some tongs with a bit of oil, put a little bit more on there and then uh, I'll just repeat that process over and over. And you can watch as that changes darker and darker and uh, then we'll have a fully seasoned plancher ready to cook on. And that is the plancher pretty much seasoned. Take a look. Now as you can see, it's largely a kind of very dark brown in the centre, a lighter brown on the outside. This is a bit of an ongoing thing because I think I can still do a little bit more on the outside. But the trick is obviously fire it up and you can season this reasonably regularly. Um, and then obviously when you're cooking in future you might find you've got more coals, hotter coals, whatever the case may be. And you'll get a bit more of that colouration around the sides. 
So there we go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed the learning curve as always. There's some things to take away that I think I'd improve if I were to do it again. I think I could probably do with a little bit more coal. I could do with distributing that a little bit more evenly. Despite me saying use a little bit of oil, I think I've been a bit OTT a couple of times when I've added the uh, second, third, fourth applications, etc. But ultimately, we've got to where we need to be. It took around an hour from start to finish once I got the plancher onto the grill. Um, so just bear that in mind if you are planning on doing this. You need to leave a little bit of time and obviously it's not quite finished. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget you can also subscribe to keep up to date with all of the latest content that I have. Hit that little bell and it'll let you know when new videos are live. I have a lot of videos on the channel from previous grilling sessions and also from my previous life where I was out traveling and doing other exciting things. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you all again very soon.